Coming up next, Monica Carlson. telling you about myself. I come from a large family. I'm one of eight kids. And if you're thinking, a lot of people ask me, Annika, wow, that's a lot of kids. What did your dad do for a living? My mom. My mom, yeah, you got it, yep. <laughs> Obviously my mom. So thanks for bringing that up, sicko. I don't like to think about that. Um, I will break it down a little bit more for you. I am, as my parents' friends used to refer to me as, number six. <laughs> Hi, Annika. Nice to see you. You must be number six. <sighs> Identity crisis started young for me. <laughs> so, um, I have five beautiful older sisters and two younger brothers that are awesome. And uh, everybody's always like, wow, your brothers, that must have been really tough, you know, having six older sisters. And they turned out normal? That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. And I think everybody should start feeling a little bit worse for uh, girl number six. This one. Because I was thinking about this recently. Um, how excited can you be as a parent for girl number six? You know, you have, they just get married, they have girls one through three, and oh, wow. Beautiful family, these really beautiful girls, we're so blessed with them. Then come girls number four and five, and it's just, huh, that's ironic. This is getting kind of weird, but seriously, next time, let's, let's have a boy. <laughs> then rewind back to uh, February 26, 1989. My parents were old school, so they didn't want to figure out what the kid was before they came out. So here I come. Ah! <laughs> Another girl. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't just leave me at the hospital, you know? <laughs> I know you guys were expecting another sibling, but pirates came, and uh, there's nothing we could do about it, so maybe next time. <laughs> but I can't really blame them either, because, again, how exciting can it be to buy diapers, or the equivalent to diapers, for the next 18 years? I'm pretty sure I was getting tampons from ages 1 through 3 for my birthdays, and panty liners in my stockings. So. <laughs> Which, you know, they keep for a while, so it's not that bad. Um, but thank you again, you guys. I'll leave you with a quote that I heard today. It's from Mary P. Poole. He who laughs, lasts. So keep up the laughter and the good vibes, and thanks for coming out.